these are the rare manuscripts with lots of shlokas and aphorisms completely loaded with Indic wisdom. But I am not able to understand anything out of it. This Sanskrit is Latin and Greek for me. I am wondering how can I get into this rich tapestry of knowledge. What if I told you that we can travel time travel 2200 years ago and meet up close and personal none other than the legendary scholar Maharshi Kanath and learn atomic theory from him. But wait, when I get there, I realize I am not proficient in Sanskrit. No worries. I just click another button to switch the language and bingo. Now I can converse with Maharshi Kanath in Hindi, my national language or in my mother tongue Marathi or in English. In a split second, Maharshi Kanath emerges and start teaching me Vaishveshik Sutra that is first propounded by him the concept of Anu, Renu and Parmanu. What modern science calls it an atom. Let's dive into a video and experience the time travel. Is it really you, Rishi Kanad? I can't believe this. I am Rishi Kanad. I noticed you were struggling with some concepts regarding atomic theory. Ask me anything. I do have questions. What makes the Vaisheshik Siddhant unique and what is its importance? Well, that is very interesting question. Vaisheshika uniquely teaches that everything is made of eternal atoms. With Vishesha distinguishing Ait's atom's unique identity. Vaisheshika Sutra, Prathama Bhaga, Prathama Dhyayasya Saptam Shloka. Vishesha Dravyam Karnana Samanya Vishesha Which means, through Vishesha, particularity, a substance is distinguished by its unique actions and general characteristics. Oh yes, thank you so much Rishi Kanad. You truly are the master of atomic theory. I am glad I could help. May knowledge always light your path. God bless you. Namaskar and greetings. I am Preeti Ramkrishnan from the heart of India and super excited to be with you all. Bharat or India, where I come from, has always been in pursuit of knowledge. When I say this, I literally mean it. Let me tell you why. Bharat, Bha means light, light of knowledge and Rat is the one who is always in search of that light. For thousands of years, people of Bharat were seekers of knowledge. They always have curiosity to explore the secrets of nature, universe and the mysteries of universe. This profound truth is captured in one of the oldest scripture, Rig Veda. I wish to quote one of the most famous aphorism from this scripture, Rig Veda. Ano Bhadraha Kritavo Yantu Vishwataha which means let noble thoughts and knowledge come to us from all the directions. If that is the case and if Bharat embodies that mindset, one might ask where is that knowledge stored? This knowledge was documented in the manuscripts in Sanskrit and other local languages referred to as Pandulipi. And how old are these manuscripts? Well, it is said that these manuscripts are as old as few thousand years and the manuscripts which are available for inspection are said to be 1200 years old. Imagine if this knowledge being democratized and made available to 
anyone and everyone on just click of a button. Imagine the whole Aryabhatta manuscript, a magnum opus of 5th century made available on to the last child on the planet earth in his choice of language and explained by scholar Maharshi Aryabhatta himself. Friends, the good news is that this is all possible with the help of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is often referred to as the new electricity. It is also called general purpose technology because it can be applied to anything and everything. But I prefer to call artificial intelligence as a child. A child's response is result of what they learn from their surroundings. Similarly, artificial intelligence response is based on the dat da data we provide and data set which we train it on. An AI model trained on Indic data set, curated on Indic wisdom will generate the response based on Indic data. This AI model is just not about Indic wisdom. It will ignite a new era of discoveries and innovations. Imagine if, if this GPT, a general purpose technology is given in the hands of last child of this planet earth and at the convenience of their homes, schools, farms, playgrounds, what all it can accomplish. Our children having access to this Indic wisdom early on would put them on the right path of curiosity, innovation and discoveries for the betterment of humanity. This is the idea I wanted to share with you all. Thank you so much.